one to one. So one part inner coat, one part reducer. Pretty simple math, I like that. It's a little full. This is all that. This is all that. Yeah. Anybody else grew up in the 90s? All that was a show to watch. Grab another one of these fancy cups. These things are really handy. One thing I will have to do is take out this little mesh filter. I don't think I can just pull it out of there. Oh yeah, I can. Look at that. It's like they thought about me. And then there's one, two. Let's just see what two does. I don't know. Might need more. I'm gonna roll with it. Let's just let's just get her done, okay? Flake City, it happened. Flaked out. Garage floor, flaked out. My boots, flaked out. Everything gets pretty flaky. Like I said, it, it is just a, a swell idea to wear eye protection. Something that actually seals around your eyes because that stuff goes everywhere. Shut my ventilation system off for a second. So this is three full coats and then one real fast kind of mist coat at the end. So kind of three and a half coats. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I like the color. So now, goal for the day is going to be to put some put some clear coat on this thing. Uh, probably three full coats of clear to bury the flake. I might go four. I don't know. We'll see. Everything's flaked. Let's get to it. I do like to uh, suit up for clear coat. I probably should have suited up for the flake just because that went everywhere, but I really don't like the clear coat. It gets all over your arm hairs. It just makes you feel all nasty. It gets in your ears. It's clear coat's got a pretty serious overspray problem. So that's why I look like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man right now. Uh, another tip with these cups is it's kind of unnatural to tip your gun upside down. So the first couple times I did it, I uh, actually went to go tip this into there 
And that's a mess, as you can imagine. In hindsight, it's pretty stupid, but at the time, make sure you clipped in, give her a flip, make sure everything looks good. All right. coats on it right now. It's looking pretty good. Still got a shine to it, but it's just very orange peely, but there's just no way to avoid that with all that really coarse metallic flake. So got two good coats on it. I'm going to go for a third right now so we can hopefully bury all the flake to be able to wet sand it out. Glad to have some flake on this thing, finally. <sighs> the long road. It's still gonna be a long road, and we're only about halfway there, but I'm just happy to actually see some color on this thing. Uh, happy with the way it turned out. That mixture that I did, I didn't really think you would see all the, the red and the green and the gold holographic and the green holographic and all that that I mixed in there and a little bit of green pearl. I didn't think you'd really see all that, but you can really pick it up. You see green, red, gold, a little bit of blue, which is from the holographic flake. You pick up on all that stuff in there, so that's kind of cool. It's got a really nice effect. Um, some disappointing things that happened to me while painting this is I went to go seal the car on Saturday night at about 7 o'clock, and I was like, I was even filming. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to throw some sealer on this and <laughs> when looking around my garage I don't have any sealer um, my paint guy I told him I needed when I first ordered all the paint stuff I told him everything I needed well he had to order some stuff in and just didn't get the sealer in the order he didn't charge me for it either but and I didn't look I should have looked he just brought me a box of stuff and I put it in my car took it home and it's been sitting here in the garage ever since Probably should have checked that. There was no sealer, which was kind of disappointing because 7 p.m. on a Saturday <clears throat> here is really tough to find paint materials. Tried O'Reilly's, they were open, but the paint department wasn't open, so I had to deal with the regular parts counter kids, which is a blast. I'm like, I need sealer. He asked me, for what? I said, I talked to you on the phone, I'm looking for paint sealer, just a black epoxy sealer what kind of car what kind of car sir it doesn't matter let me into your paint room i'll pick it out myself give me a break so i found that i got some transstar transstar epoxy never used this stuff before but it actually worked really nice a little pricey <clears throat> a little pricey about 300 dollars for a gallon with the activator i uh, wasn't prepared for that but Got the job done. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, that sealer is really deep black. Um, it stays in your, your cup, 
or wherever you're mixing it, it stays ready to spray for about 72 hours, which is pretty impressive. I still have some of it here mixed up. And I mean, you add a little, little reducer to that, you could still spray that. And I sprayed this last night. Um, but it dries on the car pretty quick. Um, I can't remember how long it said. Yeah, 10 minutes flash time between coats, which means you can put a coat down, wait 10 minutes and put another coat down, which is really quick. Um, so it's kind of nice. I mixed up a lot of sealer, so I just ended up doing two coats on this. I really didn't need to, but I did it anyway just because I had the material and it does help to have a little thicker base. Um, having the deep black I really liked because if you look at the car, if you look down it, it almost looks black towards the end, but right where the light's hitting it back in here, you can see the gold flake and the, where all the, all the lights hit and it's really bright gold. So I like that effect because when I sprayed it in black, I was kind of digging the black. I, if I didn't have the gold already, I would probably would have just left it uh, black, but I already had the gold and the inner coat and all that stuff. So I am happy with this. I'm glad I went the extra step. It just, it would have been a lot easier just to go ahead and do it black. Next time I, I might just keep it a little more simple. Um, as of right now, I don't think I'm going to do any candy or any patterns on this. I really like the look of this. Uh, down the road, if I want to, I can add them. It's not like it's just a done deal if you don't do it today. Um, I could scuff the surface, add patterns, and re-clear coat it and add more paint to the top. Uh, it's, it's not a big deal to do that at all. But I think for now, I'm not going to do any patterns. I, I'm really liking the look. Um, I might do some pinstripes down the road, or maybe, um, I don't know, maybe some gold leafing would look okay on this. Even though it is gold, it's a really dark, almost bronze gold, so some really bright gold leafing might look pretty good. Um, but we'll see. But for now, I think I'm just going to roll with this. We're going to let this sit for a few days, sand it flat, um, probably with six or 800 grit. Wet sand it, which I hate wet sanding. I try to dry sand as much as I can, but when you're sanding clear coat, you should wet sand because it fills up the sandpaper and it'll, it'll leave like gouge marks from the sandpaper getting loaded up. So you really should wet sand it. It just makes such a mess, but whatever. But while I'm letting this sit for a few days, I'm gonna work on the plastic parts, the bumpers, the moldings, um, I have the mirrors I need to paint, and then the, uh, the moldings that run up along here, I still need to paint those. Uh, so I'm gonna work on those while I'm waiting on this to kind of breathe a little bit. You wanna let the solvents work their way out naturally. So that's why you don't wanna, like right now I can touch it. I mean, you can, it's dry and it's only been a few hours. You probably could take some sandpaper to that now and get it to sand flat, but down down the road a few days, the clear coat will shrink a little bit and it'll wrinkle back up. So you really won't have a flat surface. So you wanna let it set a few days at least. I mean, let it set as long as you can. If you got a couple weeks to let the thing breathe, go for it. It's not gonna hurt it because you're gonna sand it before you paint it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm probably gonna let it set. Depends on what my schedule looks like, I'm guessing. Thursday, because um, I'd like to re-clear coat it over the weekend. Um, and then once I get it re-clear coated, I can push it outside, set up the garage to spray the bumpers and then spray those, and then get this sucker back together so I can just hit a switch. Really been fiending to hit a switch.